a massive explosion in Lake Orion, shaking the community to its core. This is drone video coming in from Sean Stevens, showing that condo engulfed after that explosion. Dozens of first responders rushing to the scene. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Terrence Friday. CBS News Reports Kelly Vaughn went out there shortly after this happened. Kelly, what can you tell us about this investigation? Well, Terrence, I do want to start with a bit of good news. The fire chief tells us that everybody has been accounted for. Earlier tonight, we reported that there were two residents that hadn't been accounted for, but they have since talked to those residents and they're doing okay. Though two people were seriously injured in this explosion. I want to give you a look at the aftermath here. Only recently have firefighters been able to get inside the actual building. Um, this explosion caused a 72 year old man and a 75 year old woman to be hospitalized. You can see the damage here to this condo and it also damaged the neighboring condos as well, blowing out windows of the buildings and the cars in the area. Now they say at this point it's early in the investigation, but it appears that the explosion was caused by gas and it took some time for them to be able to control the gas and the fire to be able to get inside and investigate. Take a listen. Um, right now we're working with consumers energy in order to uh, control a gas fed fire that is on the one side of the building. I know that we've had some footage that's been taken of it. Um, they're, they're having to excavate into the ground in order to access it. Unfortunately, it's just one of those unusual situations that's difficult to get to. So we're working with them in order to make the scene safe. We're providing a water suppression so their crews can work and they'll be able to get that under control. Now, of course, residents in this building were displaced as well as residents in some of the neighboring buildings. Around 20 people have been out of their are out of their homes tonight. Take a listen to what, how one resident described the explosion. Uh, it's it all happened at once. You know, I was in my house right here baking cookies with my kid and we just heard the big boom shook my entire house. And I look out the window, I see flares, I see fire just popping through the sky, and yeah. Now, this is all happening at the Keatington Newtown Association Condominium Complex on Walden Road. The building that exploded was a four unit building. They say the explosion happened around 630 and of course causing damage to that building as well as the buildings around it. At this point, though, thankfully, everyone's been accounted for, though we will be tracking those two residents here that were seriously injured. Terrence. But Kelly, that is great to get that update that everyone is accounted for. That's, of course, something we were really worried about before. Uh, are anybody, is anyone else out there saying anything else just about how they're feeling with everything that happened? You know, this has been a big, busy, active scene for hours now, and people have been coming by, and we've been speaking with them. A lot of them, when we first got here, were in shock. Other people telling us that they've found debris from the explosion blocks away. And while everyone's been accounted for, all the residents, a lot of pets are still missing. I've talked to a couple residents who are eager to find their cats because they had to rush out of here. One woman, she actually had to kind of bust through her warped door, that her door warped in the explosion. She had to break through to get out and escape any danger but she left her cat and so a lot of people here they're grateful and happy to be safe but of course they're so worried about their pets and of course their fellow residents who were injured in this all right thank you kelly unbelievable a major breaking story we'll keep following it and we'll check back in